Welcome everybody, this is Karen with another episode of Ask About Beauty, where I answer interesting and challenging questions from my beauty students and from this site. Today I have three questions, so let's get on with it. The first question is from Tanya, who is one of our beauty students, uh, and this one relates to nail technology. Hi Karen, I'm having some trouble with some lifting of the acrylic coating about three days after I do the job. I think I am etching the nail correctly. Is there any other reason for lifting besides not etching properly? There are a few different reasons why nails will lift fairly quickly after you do them. Now on a very few people, they just have a lot of oil in their natural nail and no matter what you do, they are going to get lifting. Normally, the main reason would be not preparing the natural nail properly, but if you think that you have done that and etched it properly, dehydrated it properly, removed all the grime from it. The other reason I would suggest then would be that you may not be finishing it properly at the end. By that I mean around the cuticle end needs to be nice and flat so that as the nail grows out you don't get that little step happening um, and you'll know if you haven't done this properly because uh, as the nail grows out in about two or three days you'll get a little bit of crusting around the cuticle which will look like lifting, but it's actually just the edge of the product is crusting. And if you get your file in and buff that down, you'll see that the rest of the nail is really well adhered to the natural nail. If the whole nail is lifting, um, which is very, very unlikely, then it is definitely either too much oil in the client's nail, or you just haven't prepared it properly and dehydrated the nail enough. The next question is from Jessica. Jessica says, hi Karen, this is probably a silly question but here goes. In the half leg wax video you say to apply the strip wax in the direction of the hair growth. I'm a little confused, do you mean in the same direction that the hair is growing or in the direction of where it is coming from? Firstly Jessica, I keep telling my students there is no such thing as a silly question. What I mean by in the direction of the hair growth is as the direction grows, as the hair grows out of the follicle, that's the direction that you apply the wax in. So you would start from the pore or the follicle and you would go in the direction that the hair is growing out from that follicle. And that applies to either strip wax or hot wax. The next one is a question from the YouTube channel. I have watched your YouTube videos on waxing and I see you using different waxing techniques, sometimes using a strip of paper or whatever the strip is made of, and then you apply the wax with a spatula thickly and remove it with your fingers. What is the difference? There are two main techniques of waxing. You've got your strip waxing and um, what I call hot waxing. The strip waxing is where you use a strip of something to actually remove the wax that you've put on the skin. Now the strips can be made of non-woven paper, calico, uh, there's a few different materials that they're made out of, but any time that you actually apply the wax thinly to the skin and remove it with a strip of some sort is strip waxing. And it's mainly used on large areas of the body, but you can use it on any area of the body. The other technique is the one that you see, I apply the wax very thickly with the spatula and then just remove it with my fingers. That can be referred to as hot wax, block wax, um, thick wax, any of these. So the wax that you use without the strip and that is normally used on sensitive areas such as bikini, underarm or eyebrow. It can be used on larger areas of the body. Um, it's quite good for people with really sensitive skin but not too many salons would use it on legs or arms anymore. So normally with the two different techniques the strip wax would be used for the larger areas of the body and the hot wax would be used for the smaller and more sensitive areas of the body. This question is from our YouTube channel and it's from the underarm wax uh, video that we have posted on there. It says, what is the name of the wax and where can somebody obtain it? This is a question that I have been asked literally thousands of times now. The wax that I use on our videos is manufactured by Jack's Wax in Australia. It's in their Adam and Eve range and the wax on the particular underarm video is their hot beaded wax called Lust. 
You don't have to use their wax. Uh, you can buy good quality waxes from most wholesalers anywhere in the world these days, or you can even have a look on the internet. The one I'm using on this video is the hot wax, which is the one that you use without the strip. Uh, and it comes normally in a block or little shapes or this particular one I use comes in little beads which is just really easy to tip into your wax pot and melt down. So that's it for our questions today. We will be putting more up next week. If you found this segment of value, please remember to subscribe to our channel above so that you don't miss out on the next or any future instalments that we have coming. Bye for now.